Niche designer fragrances. What's the difference between these two? Let's talk about it. Hey guys, welcome to my channel Intellectual Sense. My name is Div Jyot. Now, when I created this channel a few months back, uh, I just did not want to create fragrance reviews. I wanted to create, uh, you know, informational videos, educational videos, even documentaries. So today's topic, which I have chosen, where I'm going to explain to you the difference between the niche and designer fragrance. And even people who are into fragrance uh, for a long time don't exactly know the difference between these two genres of fragrance. So today we're going to demystify these two, uh, you know, uh, different aspect of uh, perfumery. So if you're liking the content I'm pro uh, providing to you guys, then please consider subscribing to my channel and sit back and enjoy this video. So let's start with the designer fragrance because if I explain to you what designer fragrance are, it will be very easy for me to explain what niche fragrances are. Now designer fragrance are something which most of us have either heard of it and also use those kind of fragrance. So fragrance like Terre de Hermes, uh, John Paul Gaultier Lamal, uh, things like that, those are considered as designer fragrance. Uh, now some houses like John Paul Gaultier, they are known for their clothes. Uh, their main thing is to create clothes and they also create fragrance uh, as a com complementary to their clothes also, but that's not their main uh, genre, so to say. So those are considered as designer fragrance and there are some other characteristics which I will talk about. Now I will limit uh, the, the characteristics of these designer fragrance to five. There are more than that. Uh, but I will explain to you five main characteristics of designer fragrance and there are some exceptions to whatever I will say about it But this apply to majority of designer fragrances. So let's start with characteristics number one These are mass produced the designer fragrances are mass produced Now I was reading upon some research where one of the fragrance which was released sold uh, 72,000 bottle in first one hour so designer fragrances are mass produced and mass sold also. Uh, so that's one of the main characteristics of designer fragrances. They are they're mass produced and they are mass sold also. Now the second main characteristic of a designer fragrance is that they are fairly easily available to buy. Now fragrance like CK1, uh, you can go to your local perfume store and most probably you will find a bottle or uh, you, they will be can be arranged because they are mass produced they are easily available also their supply chain is very good so that's the very main difference between a designer and a niche fragrance is in terms of availability of the fragrance now the third main uh, characteristic of a designer fragrance is that they are mass pleasing now because they are produced in heavy quantity they they are asked uh, by by a company to the perfumer to create a fragrance which is mass pleasing. Say for example, if 10 people smell a fragrance, at least five or six should like it and three or four should buy it. They don't want to create a unique fragrance uh, or a fragrance which is quite unique, which may be liked by few people, but may not be liked by masses because they want to sell a huge quantity of that bottles. So generally designer fragrances are mass pleasing also. So fragrance like Dior Sauvage, uh, Blue de Chanel, these are all mass pleasing fragrance. That's the reason they are liked by a lot and they are sold a lot also. The fourth main characteristic of uh, designer fragrance is the price point of it. Uh, the price point of uh, designer uh, fragrance are comparatively lower. Now there are several reasons to it. One is that because they are mass produced, the volume, the amount of volume they sell, uh, they are able to reduce the cost because of that also. So generally a designer fragrance, you can get a good designer fragrance starting from $20, so around 1500 rupees and upwards of $150, say about 10,000 to 15,000 rupees. Uh, but generally a good designer fragrance in grey market, you can buy it for about 4,000 to 6,000 rupees. So the price point of designer fragrance is in, is in about this range. So that's the fourth uh, characteristic of designer fragrance. 
Now the fifth and the last characteristic which I want to talk about, there are more, but I will limit it to five only, is uh, that uh, in designer fragrance you see uh, the amount of synthetics being used is comparatively higher as compared to niche fragrance. And there are several reasons for that. Do you want to use synthetic because some synthetics are uh, quite easy on your nose? Uh, also at times uh, you know you want to keep your cost low and that's the reason you should use synthetics also. Synthetics are not always bad also so that keep that in mind just because it's a synthetic doesn't mean it's bad uh, and just because it's natural it doesn't mean it's good also. So uh, in designer fragrance synthetics are used some designers do have natural ingredients also so it's kind of a mixture of it it's not purely synthetic uh, it's not purely natural either also. So these are the five main characteristics of designer fragrance. Now I will try to explain to you what are the main characteristics of niche fragrance. Uh, now because you have understood what designer fragrances are, you will be easily be able to explain to you what niche fragrances are also. So what are niche fragrance? Now uh, before we do delve into it, uh, before I uh, discovered niche fragrance back in 2012, before that, if you asked me what is the best perfume in the world, I will say uh, Shalimar. Shalimar is the best fragrance in the world and most expensive fragrance in the world. Because before that, I did not knew the world of uh, niche perfumery and then I discovered niche perfumery. Now, do I think Shalimar is the best perfume in the world? Maybe not, but it's certainly the most iconic fragrance. But there are definitely better fragrance to my taste at least. Now let's start with niche fragrance. So one of the main characteristics of niche fragrance is that uh, they are not mass produced. Now during this research of this uh, particular content, I talked to several uh, niche brand owners and they were telling me that uh, they produce uh, anywhere from about 300 bottles of one perfume in a year to maximum of few thousand. They cannot produce 100,000, uh, you know, bottles of uh, one perfume in a year there are several reasons for it simply they don't have the uh, the capital to do it they don't have the oil which they want to use to create that amount of bottles also so one of the main characteristics of niche fragrance is uh, that they cannot be mass produced you will only find bottles ranging from uh, 300 to few thousand that's it there is one fragrance in my collection which only has uh, there are only 30 bottles in the world which were produced so yeah so i have uh, you know that exclusivity also in terms of that so that's the first main uh, characteristic of a niche fragrance now the second most uh, characteristic of a niche fragrance is that because they are not mass produced they are not very easily available now i just talked about i have a fragrance which only has 30 bottles um, it's not easily available um, and, and I have also bottles like uh, George of Richwood uh, which is not even available officially in India in their uh, official retailer. So niche fragrance where they mo mostly differ from designer fragrances that the exclusivity of niche fragrance they are not very easily available because they are not mass produced only few thousand at maximum they are produced in a year. Uh, so the the supply chain is not the same as compared to what designer fragrances are so that's the second characteristic of a niche fragrance now the third main characteristic of a niche fragrance is that uh, they are not mass pleasing they are created for a specific audience uh, they are like a fine three-piece custom suit rather than a retail suit which is available for everyone these are more custom fragrance in my opinion they're not uh, bespoke but they are uh, created for a specific audience. Say for example, I have fragrance called Luxor uh, by Jerzhov. Now that fragrance is, uh, will only be appealing to people who like oud fragrance. Uh, Carnal Flower by Frederick Moll. That fragrance will be pleasing to a person uh, who like oud rose, for example. So they are specifically created and that's the reason they are not mass produced also that uh, these are more custom fragrance in my opinion so that's the third main characteristic of a niche fragrance now the fourth main characteristic of a niche fragrance is the quality of ingredients uh, they are comparatively higher quality as compared to designer fragrance 
Now these are not always true. There are some designer fragrance in my collection which can kick uh, uh, any niche fragrance out of the park. But in general, niche fragrance have a better quality of ingredients in it. Some have total natural perfumery or like 90% natural perfumery also. So generally the ingredients which are used uh, in niche perfumery are of higher quality also. So fifth and last characteristic of a niche fragrance, uh, because of the all the above point which I just talked about, uh, they are not mass produced, they use better ingredients, the exclusivity part of it. The prices of niche fragrance are comparatively higher than designer fragrance. Uh, at times it can be two to ten times, even more also. Uh, so a good niche fragrance, uh, a basic niche fragrance I will say start from about 5000 rupees um, and they can go upwards of 1 lakh rupees also. Now some of you may say who spends this kind of money on, on fragrance but uh, everyone has a different journey and different taste and some people are alright in spending that kind of money on fragrance. Uh, so those for those people you know we can recommend fragrance uh, which are very niche say for example Nawab of Oud or Judge of Richwood very expensive fragrance but if you like sandalwood for example and you want to experience the best sandalwood in the world uh, uh, by done by a best perfumer and best house then you have to pay that kind of money also. So niche fragrance are comparatively much expensive uh, than designer fragrance. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the comparison between niche fragrance and designer fragrance and you got to learn a few things about perfumery. I wanted to include clone fragrance, but I did not want it to make a big video. But if you want to understand why clone fragrance are so cheap, I can create a content on it if you give me 150 likes on this particular video. So like and subscribe to my channel and have a wonderful day and stay safe.